Welcome back to Top 5 Auto Repairs. What happened if you overfilled your engine with two or more quarts of engine oil? There are a lot of reasons why a person may accidentally overfill their engine with engine oil. And the number one most common reason is they just got the wrong information. For example, their engine might only take four quarts, but they probably found the wrong information online. And, and if it say six quart, they might add six quart into the engine when in fact it only takes four quarts. The next common reason is maybe it was just poor judgment. For example, let's just say they routinely just check their uh, engine dip stick and they find that the engine oil is extremely low. So they go to the store, they buy themselves five quarts of engine oil and let's just say they just dump maybe 75% in and, and now they uh, accidentally overfilled their engine with maybe two or more quarts of oil. And the next common reason is maybe they accidentally drained the transmission fluid instead of the engine oil when they wanted to change the engine oil. When you accidentally overfill your engine with engine oil, it's going to depend on your engine size. The bigger your engine, the less a problem you're going to have. The smaller your engine, the more problem you're going to have. For example, if you accidentally overfilled an inline four engine with two quarts of oil, that's going to cause some sort of issue. If you accidentally overfilled a V8 engine with two quarts of oil, you may not notice any difference. When you accidentally overfill your engine with way too much engine oil, this will cause an increased pressure in the crankcase. When there's too much pressure in the crankcase, that pressure needs to go somewhere. So that pressure naturally is going to go where there's going to be a weak spot. For example, the uh, crankshaft sill may start to fail. It will cause a massive oil leak. The rear main sill may also fail, cause a massive oil leak. And definitely the oil pan gasket will fail and cause a leak as well. When I work on a vehicle and I see a massive oil leak coming from the uh, uh, crankshaft sill, rear main sill, oil pan gasket, and so on, First thing I like to do is check the uh, engine dipstick. Sometimes when I check the dipstick, sometimes when I look at the oil, it looks extremely dark. It looks like somebody just keep on topping off the uh, engine with engine oil. And when I look at the dipstick, sometimes the uh, oil level is about that much higher than the uh, full level. When you overfill your engine with engine oil, this is definitely going to raise the oil level inside the oil pan and much higher inside the engine. When this happens, inside the engine, you have what is called the crankshaft. Basically, you're going to have the crankshaft that's going to be moving and you're going to have the counterweights. When the engine oil is much higher, all the engine oil is going to get whipped up by the uh, crankshaft counterweights. And this is definitely going to cause the engine oil to become foamy. When the engine oil becomes foamy, it does not flow that easily. So what's going to happen is when the oil pump is trying to pump that engine oil, but since it is now foamy, it's going to have a much more difficult time to pump that engine oil around. And this is going to cause your engine to starve for oil. Every single component inside the engine must be properly lubricated. If these components are not properly lubricated because the engine oil is now foamy, this will cause increased friction and this will cause parts to prematurely fail. For example, bearing inside the engine will start to fail, such as the uh, main bearings, the uh, rod bearings, the camshaft bearings, and so on. When there is increased friction due to these bearings failing, overall the engine is going to have to work harder, and you may notice the engine may start to overheat. When the bearings start to fail, this will cause change in the oil pressure, and this will cause the uh, oil warning light to turn on. I hope you found this video useful. As always, thank you for watching and subscribe to Top 5 Water Repairs.